सार्स कोव टू जीन एक्सप्रेशन पार्ट टू ओवरव्यू सार्स कोव टू जीन एक्सप्रेशन पार्ट टू विल बी कवर्ड अंडर द फॉलोइंग हेडिंग्स इंट्रोडक्शन आर एन ए डिपेंडेंट आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज फंक्शन आर एन ए डिपेंडेंट आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज स्ट्रक्चर ट्रांसक्रिप्शन रेगुलेटरी सीक्वेंस डिसकंटिन्यूस ट्रांसक्रिप्शन पार्ट वन डिसकंटिन्यूस ट्रांसक्रिप्शन पार्ट टू ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ आर एन ए एंड ट्रांसलेशन ऑफ सब जिनोमिक आर एन ए इंट्रोडक्शन सार्स कोव टू जीनोम कंसिस्ट ऑफ पॉजिटिव सेंस सिंगल स्टैंडर्ड आर एन ए इट कैन बी ब्रॉडली डिवाइडेड इन टू टू पार्ट्स द फाइव प्राइम साइड ऑफ द जीनोम दैट जनरेट सेवरल नॉन स्ट्रक्चरल प्रोटीन्स और एन एस पीस एंड द थ्री प्राइम साइड ऑफ द जीनोम दैट जनरेट सेवरल स्ट्रक्चरल एंड एक्सेसरी प्रोटीन्स इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ नॉन स्ट्रक्चरल प्रोटीन्स फ्रॉम द पॉली प्रोटीन्स पी पी वन ए एंड पी पी वन ए बी दीज नॉन स्ट्रक्चरल प्रोटीन्स प्ले क्रूशल रोल इन इनेबलिंग वायरस टू कॉपी इट्स जीनोम एंड ट्रांसक्राइब द रेस्ट ऑफ इट्स जीन्स वन सच नॉन स्ट्रक्चरल प्रोटीन प्रोड्यूसिज एन एंजाइम कॉल्ड आर एन ए डिपेंडेंट आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज और आर डी आर पी इट प्लेज अ क्रूशियल रोल इन द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल एंड एक्सेसरी प्रोटीन्स आर एन ए डिपेंडेंट आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज फंक्शन आर एन ए डिपेंडेंट आर एन ए पॉलीमरेज इज एन आर एन ए कॉपिंग एंजाइम दिस इज सार्स कोव टू जीनो The RNA dependent RNA polymerase or RDRP acts on the original plus sense single stranded RNA to produce two types of products. One product is a full length negative sense single stranded RNA. This RNA must be converted back to positive sense single stranded RNA before it can be incorporated into the genome of newly formed virions. And the other product uses discontinuous transcription to produce several negative sense subgenomic rnas again these must be converted back to positive sense subgenomic rnas before they can be used to produce the structural and accessory proteins rna dependent rna polymerase structure since rna dependent rna polymerase enzyme is not present in the host cells all rna viruses must encode their own enzyme for corona viruses this rna copying enzyme is a part of a complex known as replicase complex it has got core of rna dependent rna polymerase encoded by non structural protein or nsp12 there are several additional viral proteins in this complex these proteins perform various functions to improve the efficacy of rna polymerase enzyme helicases are ubiquitous nucleic acid unbinding enzymes the nsp13 of replicase complex acts as a helicase in replicase complex nsp7 and nsp8 are also known as the processivity factors as they make rna polymerase more processive processivity is the average number of nucleotides added by the polymerase enzyme the process of rna copying is often associated with several errors including placement of wrong nucleotides in the sequence which is responsible for various mutations seen in viruses it has been observed that as compared to hiv and influenza viruses the number of mutations observed in corona viruses is much less This is because corona viruses have an inbuilt proofreading enzyme known as exonuclease. It has been attributed to NSP14. Transcription regulatory sequence. Before we discuss discontinuous transcription and subgenomic RNAs, 
it is important to learn about transcription regulatory sequences or TRS. There are two types of transcription regulatory sequences. Leader transcription regulatory sequences or leader TRS and body transcription regulatory sequences or body TRS. At the 5' end of the genomic RNA, just downstream of the leader sequence are the leader transcription regulatory sequences or leader TRS. At the junction between each of those genes encoded by the virus towards the 3' side are the body transcription regulatory sequences or body TRS. There is a core of highly conserved sequence within these transcription regulatory sequences. These are called core sequences. These conserved sequences in body TRS and leader TRS have tendency to interact with each other through long-range RNA-RNA interactions. These are crucial for discontinuous transcription. Discontinuous transcription part 1 this is the SARS-CoV-2 genome. This figure shows only four genes for structural proteins near the three prime end of this genome. There are several other genes that code for accessory proteins as well, which are not shown here. Let us name these four genes as genes S, M, E and N. Production of structural and accessory proteins from the 3' prime segment of SARS-CoV-2 genome involves discontinuous transcription to produce subgenomic RNAs. The first step in this process involves use of RNA copying enzyme RNA-dependent polymerase to start copying the genome from 3' prime end. During this process, as the polymerase reaches body TRS next to gene N and copies its core sequence, it can do one of the two things. It can either continue to copy and move on to copy the next gene that is gene E or it can jump from that sequence through a long range RNA-RNA interaction and base pair with the same core sequence that is part of the leader TRS. In this case, the polymerase will continue to transcribe thereby capturing the leader sequence and ending the transcription. This process of jumping from body TRS to leader TRS during transcription is known as discontinuous transcription. It results in generation of a copy of a shorter version of genome with complementary 3' and 5' ends, so it is called negative sense subgenomic RNA. Before it can be used to produce proteins, it needs to be converted back into positive sense subgenomic RNA with the help of RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Discontinuous Transcription Part 2 Previously, we learned about formation of a positive sense subgenomic RNA containing only N gene. What will happen if RNA-dependent RNA polymerase, after reaching the body TRS next to the gene N, rather than interacting with leader TRS, continues to copy gene E? As shown here, it will copy gene E and then again it will have two options. Either it continues to copy gene M or it can jump from that sequence to base pair with the core sequence of the leader TRS. As a result, the polymerase will capture the leader sequence and end the transcription. It results in generation of a negative sense subgenomic RNA. Before it can be used to produce protein, it needs to be converted back into positive sense subgenomic RNA with the help of RNA dependent RNA polymerase. So this positive sense subgenomic RNA will have genes E and N. Using same procedure, RNA dependent RNA polymerase can produce positive sense subgenomic RNAs containing genes M, E and N or positive sense subgenomic RNA containing genes S, M, E and N. Translation of RNA A portion of SARS-CoV-2 genome which has a total of 13 genes on its RNA is shown here. Based on eukaryotic rules of monocystronic translation, the ribosome is going to come along, it will see gene 1, it will find the start codon and start translating that into protein. 
it will do so until it hits stop codon for gene 1 and then it will dissociate and fall off. Remaining genes on the right of gene 1 are going to be invisible to the ribosomes. This is the full SARS-CoV-2 genome. Keeping these rules of transcription in mind, now we will try to learn how the genes S, M, E and N are translated to produce proteins from positive sense subgenomic RNAs. Translation of subgenomic RNAs As discussed earlier, with the help of discontinuous transcription and RNA dependent RNA polymerase, four different types of positive sense subgenomic RNAs are produced. They are positive sense subgenomic RNA containing S, M, E and N genes, containing M, E and N genes, containing E and N genes, and positive sense subgenomic RNA containing only N gene. When ribosome comes for translation and attaches to the positive sense subgenomic RNA containing S, M, E and N genes, it will translate gene S and then it will dissociate. This way it will produce protein S. When ribosome attaches to the positive sense subgenomic RNA containing M, E and N genes, it will translate gene M and then it will dissociate. This way it will produce protein M. In a similar way, protein E and N will also be produced. Thus, with the help of discontinuous transcription and subgenomic RNAs, virus generates several structural and accessory proteins towards the 3' segment of the genome. Thank you.